And still in the Sadak region, Zimbabwe may be on a verge of winning the war against child marriages. Recent statistics show that a significant reduction in new recorded cases for 2018. The number of girls married before 18 is now less than 30 percent. Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa attributes the drop to new laws as well as new educational and cultural facilities uh, and programs. Uh, to commemorate World uh, Population Day, he opened a new clinic and a youth centre in Harare. Hopefully informal settlement, home to more than 220,000 people. It is riddled with high levels of unemployment, crime and poverty. Social ills such as child prostitution and child marriages are prevalent here. Here in Wobbly, prostitution isn't good. Because most, most probably young, young children at the age of 13, you find, you find a girl, I mean, at the beer homes. It's because of poverty, lack of jobs, lack of money of um, sponsoring our children to school. It's a youth time affected because. Um, if we, we, we go like in the other cities, like in the capital, in the town, uh, if someone, if I'm looking for a job, if I go inside, if in a shop, I'm asking for a job, I say I'm looking for a job, and the, the manager of, if in the owner of the company says, where do you come from? If I say I stay in Hobley, they say, oh, men prostitutes come, they get out, we can't offer a job from people who come from Hobley. Some are stealers and some are prostitutes. <laughs> The Zimbabwean government and the United Nations Population Fund have stepped in to address some of these challenges. They've built a new clinic and youth center to support young people in Hopley. The new facilities, it is hoped, will help reduce unintended pregnancies, early childhood marriages, the school dropout rates, as well as incidences of HIV and cervical cancer while creating employment opportunities. I'm disappointed and worried, according to the statistics given by the Minister of Finance, that about 18%, if I'm correct, of the young girls in this locality give birth before they're 18 or get married before they're 18. Despite recording a significant drop in new cases of early childhood marriages in 2018, the practice remains a major concern. The Zimbabwean leader believes that more efforts to empower the girl child, like offering free basic education, could help end the cycle. As our economy both recovers and modernizes, we shall continuously support and introduce and maintain free education at the lower strata. Zimbabwe has a net attendance rate of more than 91% for primary education, suggesting that nearly everyone goes to primary school. The United Nations is supporting Zimbabwe's efforts. The key element to preventing girls' uh, early marriage is engaging them, keeping them in school, giving them skills so they might get into jobs, they might get into continuous higher education, uh, and, and broadening their outlook and knowledge that they should marry early. And, and we have a program in, in different uh, forms supporting these interventions, like, uh, you know, education program. Uh, uh, we have a program in terms of educating on HIV and AIDS issues, uh, etc. And, and also program in poverty reduction, uh, uh, job creation. This year's World Population Day theme calls for global attention to maternal health and gender equality. All right, so we're going to stop for...